and welcome back again. This is M. Ramos. See you today with Parpa Diya. So, on our previous episode, pinag-usapan natin um, yung depression and anxiety. And kung paano natin ma-identify kung meron tayong depression or anxiety, yung mga signs na kailangan natin maging aware of and kung ano din may tutulong natin. So, ngayon naman, kasama pala natin sila Miss Kyla and si Miss so kasama pa rin natin sila at ngayon naman yung pag-uusapan natin ay konting continuation nung previous mental health discussion natin but this time meron kaming ilang mga um, misconceptions na naririnig namin from other people or actually ako yung nakarinig narinig ko siya from other people and shinare ko kina Miss Ren and Miss Kyla so for this episode, yung pag-uusapan naman natin ay yung mga ilang misconceptions na narinig namin about suicide. Yung mga suicidal tendencies and then yung mga um, people who commit suicide. So, ngayon, itong mga misconceptions ay narinig ko from my colleagues. So, gusto ko lang sana na mag-uusapan natin para hopefully ma- correct natin or mas ma-enlighten natin yung mga tao kung ano nga ba talaga yung usapin ito. So, ano nga ba yung sasabi ko? So, yung una kasi, um, the first thing is, for example, yung dun sa uh, suicide. Kasi di ba maraming mga uh, madaming mga cases na parang sinasabi nila never nilang nakita na gagawin niya yun. Or kaya never, parang walang signs. Parang she's so happy or he's so happy ganyan, yung ganun. And then, suddenly, one day, may kita na lang may lahat na nag-commit na lang suicide. So, there is this, may narinig ako from uh, from a kulik before na yung sabi niya is naniniwala siya na yung ganito daw is possession of devil or demon or ganun. So, kasi naniniwala siya sa possession. So, ganun. Kasi nga daw, it's not the, it's not the act of the person. Kasi nga, parang wala eh, walang, walang signs or anything na parang just suddenly one day naisip niya, ginawa niya. So, ano ang masasabi niyo about this? <laughs> na, is it, is it, can you say that this, is it a perception? Or, what, what is suicide now? Suicide, or, you know, um, attempting, it's never a drop. It's, parang hindi siya, naisip ko one day, naising ako na ay gusto ko itong gawin. It's never like that. Pinag-iisipan yun ng tao kasi nga it's their own life that we're talking about. And then, as for the science, it's always there. Sometimes we're so busy with life that we don't see it. Or sometimes the person chooses not to show their sign, these signs to people. But it's always there. Minsan lang talaga hindi natin sila nakikita or we choose not to see it na parang oh yun din ano lang yan pagod lang siguro yan kaya ganyan or kulang lang yan sa tulog dami lang kasi kasi yan this day kaya siya mukhang ganito ganyan then gusto ko din ano ipasa kasi from my little experience with Echo 101 class ko kay Ma'am Binduan before lagi niya sinasabi kasi na kasi di ba for example may nag-suicide kasi anong bakit siya nag-suicide minsan sasabihin na kasi bumagsa na kasi uh, hindi nakapasa sa ganyan. Actually, sabi niya, sabi ni ma'am, it's like compared it to a balloon na parang, di ba when you, sa isang balloon, pupunain siya ng hangin. Yung mga hangin na yun, yun yung mga stressors niya, yung mga triggers niya. Throughout that time, di ba hindi pa naman siya puputo. Pero, kapag puno na yung balloon, tapos, in, uh, nag-blow ka pa ng hangin doon, puputok na siya. Kasi yun na yung kumbaga max na niya. So, well, possible na yung last blow mo ay yung hindi siya pumasa or yung last, last blow ay nag-break sila ng boyfriend niya or girlfriend niya. Pero, hindi mo masasabi na yun talaga yung cause ng pag-suicide niya. Kasi, ano ka siya eh, parang napuno na. Parang kung sa balut, puno na siya ng iba't ibang triggers and stressors na throughout time na ipon and then yung last click mo, yun na yung nagputok sa kanya. Mayroon akong napakinggan before na um, minsan daw mas nakakatakot yung mga hindi talaga nagsasabi at all. Kasi parang it mean, it's a sign na 
buo na yung loob nila towards it na parang uh, nakapag-decide na sila whereas yung iba yung mga mas nag, parang nagbibigay pa ng hint somehow daw parang naghahanap pa sila ng signs na should I do this or should I not parang nagdadalawang isip ka so that's the kapag may ganong cases that's the time na kasi di ba for example nagpo-post sa Facebook plus minsan sasabihin pa na sa comments na oh sige gawin mo yung parang ganon wag kasi mas matitrigger mo siya eh na so you, you really have to be very sensitive in talking to them and then yun din naman kahit naman yung sobrang silent mo lang na tao ay uh, not silent mo lang na friend yun if you can check from them from time to time talaga kasi yun hindi, hindi siya something na just happens up one thing. Tama ba ako? Tama. Correct me ba? Maraming ko alam kung tama ba yung sinasabi ko. At least that's what I know. So again guys, hindi namin ito sinasabi because we're experts or we're professionals because we're not. But at least from what we learned, from what we know, these are our insights. Okay. Miss Kyle, I'm so much. Before we move on to the next. <laughs> just circles back yung mapag-usapan natin last episode. Yes. Yung, ano, yung the signs, most probably, hindi mo lang nakita. Because most probably, you don't know the signs are. So, ano na lang, uh, yun, yung make it a point na, yun na lang, yun educate na lang kayo. So, you, you find out for yourself kung ano kaya yung signs. Kasi, later on, baka walang outright, makikita mo sa behavior niya, may mga implicit things. Ba't doon mo mapapansin na baka may, may something na nangyayari sa akin. So, mabalik na natin yung statement mo. Hmm. Tama, naging mo, hindi kayo naniwala that it's some kind of possession. No. Baka yun nga, like, di ba para usually in literary sense, uh, the demons inside of our heads, inside of our brains, ganyan. Baka yung symbolic demons. Uh, uh, but not, I don't think a religious thing. <laughs> so, basin tabi ko sa mga religious. Kasi this is this is really ano a serious topic. Na minsan, if you have mga parents na parang that they also use the religion para ishub yung topic na. So pray ka na lang. You just kasi hindi ka nagmamasa at this one day. It doesn't it doesn't end there. Although it can help, actually, the mm-hmm. spiritual, yung spiritual practice, it can help you. Pero it doesn't end there. It's not the ultimate. Uh, mm-hmm. And people have different ways of coping. So, for example, nga ikaw, ang coping mechanism is like going to church and doing good deeds, and that's good for you. And if that if that helps you, then that's great. Pero if if hindi naman yun yung coping mechanism when it doesn't really help you and then why you could claim it to do that in a And, and why you force it to other people? Mm-hmm. You know, let's not force our beliefs on other people's throats. So, pwede mo rin i-compare sa like physical to something. So, kung nari, uh, nilalagnat ka, hindi mo naman sasabihin na, sige, manalangin ka na. Tama yun! Tama yun! Although nakakapaglakas loob minsan pag hindi uh-huh. yun, 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 And kung ano din naman, kung, kung balik, ano, i-compare din na, for example, nalagnat ka din, tapos uh, uminom ka ng certain gamot, tapos... It's not right for that kind of sickness. Uh-huh. So, kung, kung yung gamot mo ay prayers, pero yung gamot para sa akin, for example, ay hindi naman effective yung prayers. So, Yun. So yung next is, ano, uh, di ba napag-usapan natin sa previous episode na ano, we have to consult professional help and we have to uh, we have to encourage people to seek professional help. Pero, meron pa din ibang mga tao na may stigma sila na kapag ka nagpa-doctor ka, baliw ka. So, ano matasabi nyo sa stigma na ito? No, <laughs> so it's hard, no? Ayan na. Like, like what I said on previous episode, na ang belief ko is if you think something's wrong, 
then something might be wrong talaga. So go to the doctor. Yun lang talaga. It's, it's always a win-win situation when you go to the doctor. If you find out something's wrong, you get it treated or you find out how to manage it. If you find out nothing is wrong, and then at least you're healthy, at least you're safe. Ganyan. So... Yeah. And then, siguro yun na din yung kailangan natin, Cor. Kasi before, nung hindi pa masyadong uh, malawak yung conversation about mental health, kapag lang sinabi na lang may sakit ka or may problema ka sa pag-iisip, automatic baliw yun eh. Yung, tas yung idea pa natin ng baliw, yung mga nagwawala, uh, yung ganon. Pero ngayon kasi, pag sinabi, kapag tinagalog mo naman kasi talaga yung mental health problem, may sakit ka sa isip, kasi mental health. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na yung sisa level na magwawala. Eh, hindi ganong baliw levels. So, so, it doesn't mean na kapag nagsisik ka ng professional help, pupunta sa doktor, o psychiatrist, ganyan, hindi ibig sabihin niya na baliw ka na kailangan mong itahila or kailangan mong itako. I think, <laughs> ano, even yun nga, kung yung levels ng like, baliw yung kay Sisa, I think we sh still should not put any um, negative, uh, parang huwag natin tingnan siya ng negative light din. Kasi, we are all victims. If you are suffering from any mental health problem or disorder, we are all victims naman, of circumstances, of the different um, things that are happening around us. And sometimes we are put in a situation that we are not able to control na lumala siya to that kind of extent. And as, for example, as a person then uh, not experiencing that kind of problem, the very least we can do is to really understand. Um, what the other person is going through and kung kaya natin mag-abot ng um, tulong sa kanila, edi mag tayo ng tulong kasi nga, it's, it's always better to be kind to people than talaga. So yung last na lang is na usual misconception is um, minsan sinasabi din nila na nagpapapansin lang itong mga sasabi. Eh, minsan, sorry ba, we, we release our feelings kung, kung sobrang down tayo, nag, let, nag, nila let out natin yung emotions natin. Minsan naman, yung mga merong suicidal tendencies, they really uh, say it na you know, or something, ganyan. So, for other people, dinidismiss nila to kasi akala nila yung papapansin na. So, what can you say about this common misconception? I think may two sides dyan. Kasi yung first side is you know, it, there it's the person's way of really seeking help so ako talaga you should never really dismiss whenever someone tells you oh i have i'm thinking of this kind of thing tapos meron din naman kasi isa na parang emotional manipulation na na oh kapag like you're in relationships so pag nakapag-break out magpapakamatay ako ganyan you should learn then to distinguish between the two, I guess. So, more on emotional manipulation, you should learn from that. Pero yun, like, never really dismiss it when someone says na, okay, I have these tendencies, or parang, okay, ano na, nag-guhuling habilin na, ganon. Kasi, they're really thinking about it. And, kailangan talaga nila ng help or ng love. They need to feel it. They need some a um, visual sign na makikita nila na okay, may nagmamahal pa sa akin or someone still believes in me. Even if ako mismo, I can't really do that for myself. At least someone else does. So maybe that can be enough reason at least for now to continue and not do what I was, what I wanted to do. And then siguro ano din, um, uh, yung sa signs, na yung, sa, yung binibigay nilang signs, ganyan, it doesn't always uh, it, it's not always indirect na sasabihin nila. Kasi sometimes, yung sabi mga na magkahabihin, minsan parang magbibigay uh, sila na, ah, kapag ka, ano, kapag ka wala ako, gusto ko yung mag-aalaga ng asa ko, yung ganyan. Yung, yung ganun, minsan kasi sobrang small signs na siya. Wala siyang direct na, na kapag namatay ako, ganyan. O kaya, uh, gusto ko namatay. Walang ganun, pero magbibigay sila ng mga hita. Kapag wala ako, gusto ko yung asa ko, ganyan. Kaya sa, 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 funeral, sa isang funeral, ang gusto ko ganitong music. Yung mga ganong 
um, parang very indirect siya, pero yun nga, kung if you're aware enough, parang pwede mo siyang makita na as in, na bakit, bakit namin pinag-uusapan doon? Mayroon na bang something? How are you? Are you going through something? Yung ganun, ang kamustahin mo lang na bakit? Parang what's, what's, what's with this topic? Kasi it doesn't always have to be direct. <laughs> so, if parang, if may nag, parang tumapit sa'yo, tapos parang nagpapapansin na or something, yung, yung thinking ko is, if, if easy, parang if you're gonna be wrong, at least be wrong on the safe side. So, if parang sa tingin mo, nagpapapansin siya, yung parang benefit of the doubt, yung, eh, parang benefit of the doubt, isipin mo na, legit yun sinasabi niya. So, kahit na yun nga, yun pala, emotional manipulation na. Para, at, at first, hindi mo sure kasi kung ano mo yun ang bangon ito or may, or talagang pinag-iisip pa natin. So, might as well think na pinag-iisip na na tapos dun, dun ka na, dun mo na i-offer. So, Just to close this discussion, what can you say or what, what, what message can you give for those people who have mental health problems or for those people who know other people, maybe their friends or family, who is struggling from different mental health problems? So, sir, if you're the one who's struggling, and who na, don't be afraid to ask for help super laking tulong once you open up to other people. And second, once na naka-open up ka na and you're on your way to recovery, ano, kapit na. Kapit na. So, again, uh, remember na healing is not linear. So, okay lang if two steps forward, one step back. Kapit ka lang. And, yun, just remember to ask for help. And then, if you know naman someone, loved one is yung nagsustruggle naman. Ayun, just educate yourself and always assure them na you're there for them. Like, support them all the way. Kasi, yun nga, mahirap, mahirap yung pinagdadaan. Also, protect yourself. <laughs> um, yung ako naman, it's always scary and overwhelming the first time you realize something might be wrong, which can hinder you to seek help, but it does get better. A cliche, like it really is cliche. It does get better, but we also have to remember that it also gets worse at times. Pero we, alam mo na na, oh, it once got better for me. And it will continue to get better for me if I also work for it. Hindi lang yung asa lang ako sa support system ko, hindi yung aasa lang ako sa medications ko, or sa exercise, or sa prayers. I have to work on myself as well. And it's it's a really hard thing to do, and you just have to continue reminding yourself na it's also for you. You shouldn't do it, I think, personally, you shouldn't do it kasi para hindi masad yung parents mo, or anything. Above all, you should do it for yourself because it's your life. And then, if you are a friend or if you, you know someone who is struggling, as same as what Kyla has said, na just really be open. It's hard, especially if you have misconceptions or you have a different view on mental health and what they're going through. Pero ayun, it's what they're going through. It's not what you are going through. It's about them. Let's try and not make it about us. Let's learn more about them. In that way, we can really at least help them or at least provide a safe space for them to be them without judgment. So, I'm going I think don't be too hard on yourself. Because um, there are times that na we cycle na we think we failed because we failed our own expectations and then we feel down and then it, 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 tuli -tuli na it drags us down and then 
dahil nadadam na yung we fail again and then it becomes a cycle. So just be more patient of yourself and then you know, be love yourself more. Because sometimes we're we're harder on ourselves than on other people. Sometimes it's easier to forgive other people than ourselves. So. <laughs> so I guess that's it. So again, I hope you learned something from this discussion. Thank you, Miss Kaila and Miss Ibrahim. Thank you. So, maraming salamat sa inyong pananood. And kung meron kayong natutunan dito or may